Here's your NBC 26 News update. I'm Nina Sperano. Many students in Green Bay returned to school today, the same day teachers became eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine in Wisconsin. Today also marks the beginning of eligibility for grocers, 911 operators, and staff and residents in congregate settings. In an effort to keep up with demand, Wisconsin health officials expect to receive about 47,000 doses of the newly approved Johnson & Johnson vaccine next week. By the end of this month, Johnson & Johnson plans to have some 20 million shots delivered across the country. People looking for work once again have a valuable resource at their disposal. After nearly a year, the Brown County Job Center is back open. Right now, the Job Center is open on a limited basis and by appointment only. Time now for a check on our weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Hey, Cam. Hi, Nina. March came in like a llama today with lots of sunshine and slightly below normal high temperatures. But as we head through the next week, it's going to warm up again. Our normal high is now 33 degrees, and we're going to be running about 10 to 15 degrees above that for the rest of the work week and into this upcoming weekend. Beyond the uh, warm temperatures, it's also going to be quiet. Really no major systems headed our way anytime soon. We'll see mostly sunny skies at times tomorrow, mixing with areas of clouds. It's going to be a windy day. That's probably the story tomorrow. Gusty winds up to around 40 miles per hour. Lower to mid 40s on Wednesday. We cool down a little bit on Thursday, probably close to 40. But then we really start to warm up by the end of the weekend and early next week with high temperatures getting into the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. Have a great night, everybody.